Hello there. We have been talking about different story formats and today we are talking about nested loops. Nested loop is a story format where multiple stories are woven together. There are positive there are positive of it that uh, how you can say the multiple f stories in one single format and there are cons for it also. So, um, like the structure of the story becomes very complex if not handled with utmost care or with the craftsmanship, the structure may crumble and it can lead to tremendous confusion. It becomes challenging to keep the audience on the main track by introducing multiple tracks of characters and stories. So, on the one side you can really add lot of stories, add lot of characters, um, add lot of important characters, please understand uh, main character has to be one or it can be like uh, if there is one line, main line, the other lines or other stories are so close that it becomes difficult to judge who is leading the story, but they are saying or they are working towards the same goal. So, at times if not handled with care, it becomes really, really complex and to handle a nested loop story format film, you know, you really need to be a director, you really need to be a writer, you really need to be a cinematographer, you really have to have the craftsmanship, you know, otherwise it will get out of the hands and people will get confused. Now, another risk of it is that because there are multiple tracks, the audience is overloaded with the information. Now, this is one of the things that we as Indians do not like in most of the cases and that is what exactly happened with Kalki also. Uh, you know, there were so many things happening. We were like initially 10-15 minutes were okay, uh, he is taking the story forward, mm, nahin, she is taking the story forward, no, no, she, this, that little girl is actually going to be the Devi, no, 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 this lady, you know, so, so lot of, lot of things are going on and audience is overloaded with the information and uh, my expectation was my expectation drastically started going down when I saw the first fight of the protagonist with the with the goons. Technically, it was reminding it. It was reminding constantly. It was reminding me of a, a Mad Max Fury. At least the costume was definitely doing that. At, le at least the costume was definitely doing that. But when Ashwatthama's story comes in that particular real time, there is where it really gets interesting, you know, there is where the originality of that particular plot, you know, was established, you know, uh, you know, you, everybody has got different expectation, but from writing part, writing is stronger in that part, writing is really, really stronger as compared to, obviously, they have to establish, so, uh, from all the epic battles of the world to the most recent from World War I to World War II to Vietnam and, and terrorism. So, all that is being shown very beautifully in the beginning. Then it takes you to uh, Dwapar Yug and, uh, and all the incidents that you know that how the ones of uh, uh, not only uh, Kauravas but Pandavas was also uh, ended and how, what is the relationship, what is the curse um, Ashwatthama had, who gave, uh, who were his allies, who were not his allies and um, the the stone, what is the connection, you know. So, so that is rather more beautifully established uh, when uh, Ashwatthama is, uh, is dealt in that real world situation. Now, so, so initially I was like, um, uh, when I was watching it, I went to see it because I wanted to see it and uh, it was uh, at least till the first fight 
of the protagonist it was like they were trying to be comic and trying to establish the character but there there was somehow there was a gap but the setup that they created especially towards at least after 15 minutes of the film you know uh, that the setup that they created where they actually became indian you know uh, when they got out of the mold of Ma mad max fury you know um, the costume were like because i have been watching that series uh, um, i am a regular fan of that so i know that this is the costume of that particular character and things like that so i i knew that they had a lot of uh, burden on their shoulder Th not only they have to um, make it look that it is as per the st standards of international expectation um, there is where i think they have made a blunder not blunder uh, blunder will be too harsh word to use uh, you know the economics also works uh, so that is in fact uh, the film and economics is what my area of expertise uh, my phd is on that um, but when it, the story is rooted in indian sensibility you know uh, which is a very good thing about kalki okay and i really appreciate it and why extensively i am talking about kalki in this lecture is because that is one of the very good example one of the very decent examples in in indian there are there are thousands of thousands of films which are you know uh, good example be, or rather better example of it but uh, because i'm sure that most of you must have seen this film so i'm talking about this particular film so when the story gets back to its root original that this is the last city on earth you know this is the first city on earth you know so so these small small things and uh, you know when the stone glows and at least i'm really happy to see and i really want you to notice this this detail when ashwatthama picks up the stone and puts it back in his forehead thank god they did not use the alien film technology you know where it opens and then the stone is sucked in i was so relieved that they kept it so simple and the beauty of that scene is that it is simple so sometime you know uh, as i'm writing one of the science fiction st uh, 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 story right now so i am struggling with this particular thought that uh, if if your character is is a futuristic character how it should not meet dune how it should not mean uh, meet alien how it should not meet um a lot of other films you know the referencing that we talk about so one of my personal biggest challenge is to create a futuristic character right now which has not which has not been seen because i have seen lot of films which is like beyond comprehension also that is one of the challenges that i have you know so is it with the form of of how we would be in future or is it the suit that we are doing so i have not only have to think that how that character is going to be you know that is what my disappointment is with the film that they all are mad max characters in the beginning of the film you know so so the, the there is a hover which is going over the earth which is completely dry and there are deep cracks in it and you know i most of us have now most of uh, most of us have international exposure so most of us know yes something like this i have seen there but pushpak viman used by uh, the antagonist is something which is original to us so one of the challenges challenges that i am facing at my own right now is to keep that futuristic character grounded in my sensibility i am not bothered about how aliens are imagined in hollywood film or in japanese film 
at least in Japanese film, they uh, they have imagined in a very very interesting manner. Uh, there are in in K dramas also they have interesting uh, alien Im images. But if 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 that sort of a character, if Kalki sort of a story we are projecting, then w one of the word of caution is that how we should not uh, look like what most of us have seen in other nations film you know so if uh, he is a um, sidekick uh, from the antagonist side so there are spikes on the shoulder there is a shoulder pad and there are spikes then you have uh, a punch which is like motor uh, fixed punch i have seen it all of us have seen it and then uh, you know uh, trying to be unnecessarily uh, comic uh, and uh, you know this is what is basically the conclusion of first 15 minutes of that film but the moment it comes back to its root beautiful it's beautiful climax really interesting and where it is revealed that there is a, a, a camaraderie between uh, Ashwatthama and Karna. You know, that actually elevates the film, that literally elevates the film. You know, that literally elevates the film. And the greed, you know, the very interesting uh, character development in, uh, in the protagonist, obviously, that is the confusion who is the protagonist. So that's the beauty of nested loop films. So, so the greed, you know, in the climax when it takes, and Ashwatthama is trying to hold the spacecraft, and you know that that greed ki yahan se nikalte hain, chahe kahin pe bhi pahunche, and then there is unset connection between two saviors, oh, two saviors technically, of of God and though there is no um, on screen understanding, uh, the understanding is on mythological level. Now very interesting point about nested loop is and which makes it apart, which makes it unique, you know, if, if you give me 15 story formats, so far I have talked about 15 story formats. And a student comes to me and says, Salim sir, they all are same. Mm, I would say, first I would check how much he knows. And if he knows little, I would say, yes, beta, you are saying it right. They all are same. But if the student is studi uh, I mean, serious enough and he is too much into understanding how these formats work, then that is what we are trying to make you understand then i then i can prove that they are they all are not the same you know in the beginning of the lecture i said a lot of students come to me and say salim sir they are the same so most of the time i i knowing the students say ha ah, they are the same but at times uh, when i know that if i say this and the student uh, you know will take as the final word, then it gives, I become really conscious and there is where I sit down with them. There is a template that I have. I have 15 cards uh, in my classrooms. Uh, you know, th that is what, those are my cards. So I bring them in classes. I put 15 story format, formats visually, you know, tangibly in front of those students. And all the major points are written on those 15 cards. I say first three points are there across. Next two points are among one, three, five and seven. There is a chart, proper chart that I have prepared for, uh, for the classes. And then what is so unique? So there is one precise quality that is there in all the formats, in all the formats. And 
that one precise quality is not there in any other format. Sometimes it becomes difficult to crack down that one specific quality and that is where they all are different. That is where they all are different, you know. You can't, you, you, you know, you can't have a monolith, monolith strength in, uh, um, you know, in a uh, bead sheet. There will be a reflection of it, no doubt about it. But one main, yeah, one core of monolith is its strength. What is that one? When you sit down with me, I'll be explaining that to you. So, uh, so one of the very, I mean, which is not in any of the formats, I, I reveal it to you, at least one quality which is uh, technically the strength of uh, nested loop is that if your story is what is what is the date today is it's 27th of september today yeah so if i'm writing the story and your character is a uh, you are showing the the 27th September's life in 2024 of a character, of your character, then obviously the film is contemporary. Now, can I take it back 1000 years back? Can I do that while sitting here? I can't. Can I take it 1000 years after this point? Can I do that? Chances are no. Chances are. Because I am saying chances are because there is always a possibility and those who write knows how to do it. But if your story has nested loop, not only I will take you 1000 years back, I can take you 1000 year forward also. And I will do it while sitting here right in front of the camera. This specific quality is not to be found in any of the story formats. The, whatever I have taught you, 15 different story formats. So, something like this is in every story format that I cannot touch this core of this story format, you know, it, I can have a part of it in something else, but as a core, this story, this story format's core is this, and this core exclusively belongs to this particular story format, you know, there are 15 cores not to be, that can be a resemblance of it, can be the part of another format because they are, all are dealing with the same thing, you know, the story, the tradition of storytelling, they are the same thing. But there is one core, can I take linear, uh, can I take hero's journey uh, 1000 years back and at the same time 1000 years after in the same film? Uh, then I have to keep the multiple tracks and the moment I keep multiple tracks, you are landing in nested loop. So, uh, hero's journey is good for a contemporary time frame, okay? be that uh, uh, the Game of Thrones, be that the Spider-Man, be that the Superman or be that Gandhiji himself. You know, Gandhi is a film, the character, historical character are um, one of the most important uh, Indian figure. So, I am talking about the film Gandhi which was directed by Richard Attenborough. So, you know, you cannot take the film story of Gandhi 10,000 years back 
and at the same time 10,000 years after and while keeping the main story because that is a different story format. But the moment you understand what is nested loop and you understand how it works, you know, then um, that is one of the cores of nested loop that how actually you can do it. So, um, so the nested loop is, uh, you know, um, how in a complex way you can tell your story, story and then you have a uh, lot of other things like, uh, uh, like uh, what example should I give you? Um, like Mahabharata, I, I gave you false in this, Ramayana false uh, in this, in this story format. Or rather, I would say that these are the stories which gi give birth to the these the, these are the scriptures which give birth to this story format. So there are there are you know lot of lot of uh, examples you know uh, the nested narrative enhance the central plot uh, or the essence of the story and, and lot of other things like it on the one side you can show a moral story on the other side you can show the spiritual story on the third side you can show the psychological compass of a character be that main or subordinate whatever it is a lot of lot of things can work out there but there is a very uh, uh, one term that i would like to talk about you must have a ter you must have heard a term called mesosen okay um I'm sure that those who are into understanding films and those who read about it also, they know a term called mesosen. But there is a very interesting another term which I'm sure um, that um, even I did not hear it few months back, which is called mesoem. Now mesoem is uh, meso same like mesosen meso m is a b y m e. Now, mesoem is basically um, uh, a technique which is actually a literary technique but did not got so famous in writing but rather got um, um, rather got accepted it it got tremendous acceptance in the world of painting now you must have seen a, a, a painting where suppose if this is the painting like where I am sitting you know and uh, there is a uh, there is a photo frame kept here so the frame this particular frame is being shot and put in this frame so that will be meso m okay meso sen you know a lot of comp what goes like this is meso sen right now okay but meso m will be that the same frame is within this frame is here. So, I am if like suppose if I am talking like this, okay, I am talking about meso sen and I will also be talking about meso m. So, like my you, you click an image of my mind and my hand gestures were like this. So, this image will be captured, there will be a frame here. So, this image of mine will be here in this image. So, almost there is a resemblance of this frame and this frame and this frame is within this frame. So, again meso m is frame within the frame and I am talking about nested loop which is about story within the story. So, when I read about meso m and I started going through the paintings that have used this terminal this this technique called meso m I was like so, uh, bef before you know I leave you with some thought, let me give you some uh, um, uh, Indian examples, some Egyptian example, some Arabian examples, some literary examples, some film example. Now, you all of you know about Mahabharata. From in Mahabharata, the Kurukshetra war is narrated by three characters by Jay, by Bharata and uh, uh, who himself is narrating, narrated by the character in Upsarga's Mahabharata. So, 
look at three three layers. Then, uh, if I give you um, um, Indian example, then seven wise masters, Saptarishi, uh, Hitop Desh, Hitop Desh, Vikram and Vetal. At least people of my age have seen it. Uh, Panch Tantra, even younger generation has read it. Panch Tantra and the tale of uh, shipwreck sailor is an Egypt, Egyptian example of it and uh, Arabian Nights, you know, uh, 1001 stories or 1001 tales, Arabian Nights, you know, that which uh, the uh, st people of my age, uh, they have seen it, Aladdin and Jinni, uh, that is one of the stories, but Arabian Nights is a, a very different story format. There was a tyrant who, you know, kills ladies and there is a lady, she says, if I can engage you through, through my story and if the story keep, if the story engages you and if it is not finished, you know, beautiful condition. So the lady keeps on telling the king the stories and by the time it is there is dawn, she leaves the story at a very interesting turn and the king says, uh, okay, wh wh what happened? And then the lady says that I will tell you this story tomorrow night. Take care. So this is how these are uh, 1001 tales, Arabian nights, you know, the story is being told in night because she has to live through the day, you know. So these are some uh, nested loop formats. Uh, um, in India, in Egypt, in Arabia, and a um, lot of uh, uh, it's. I I give you the example of Meso Sen and Meso M also. Um, I hope the lecture must have um, raised some interesting questions in your mind, and if it has, it was a good story format lecture. Thank you very much.